Hello everybody, my name is Dirk Smit. I am an adventure travel filmmaker. I am also the content creator for Ironman 4x4 Africa and welcome to another episode of the Iron Van Adventures. So normally we do these episodes with the Ironman 4x4 crew, we split them up or we have friends going with us on trips and we explore Southern Africa. This time around I've decided to do a solo trip. It's just me and the Iron Van and we're going to be exploring one of my favorite towns in South Africa. Now the reason I am solo on this trip is I feel it's kind of a weird time in the world right now. A lot of people are feeling stressed, emotional stress, physical stress, financial stress and I want you to take my hand for the next 30 or 40 minutes or however long this episode is and just forget about all that. Just enjoy this journey with me where I'm going to showcase one of the most beautiful places in South Africa. So pour yourself a glass of wine, get popcorn, if you don't do wine get some sweets and just relax and take it all in. We're going to Hogsback. Hogsback is roughly 850 kilometers from Johannesburg, and I decided to take the gravel road in. I was born in the dark, molded by it, and there was light. This is the new Iron Man 4x4 area light. It's so cool. It's got a little remote, so you can put it on and off, and you can set the intensity of it. It's got a small little peg that goes into the ground and a pole that goes up, so when you do have bugs, the bugs are going to be up there. I am currently camping at Away With The Fairies, Backpackers, in Hogsback. I've been here before, it's a very, very cool place. There's a lot of um, walking trails and waterfalls close by and there's a very famous bath. But for now, I arrived here, I've never camped here before, but I just grabbed the first spot. Don't know if it's the best spot, but I'm in Hogsback. So I arrived at about 6 o'clock, the sun was setting. This place is really magical, but you'll see that tomorrow. On the menu tonight, we've got steak and some salad and a good night's rest. It's been a long journey today, but I'm finally here. Uh, night time. Day time. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for keeping me company. Cheers. morning it's quite a chilly morning here in Hogsback at Away With The Fairies and the campsite is very cool it's a bit muddy at the moment uh, they've got uh, they had a lot of rain so my shoes are quite muddy um, but I think today I'm gonna have my coffee and maybe a bit of a breakfast then I'm gonna do a trail that goes from Away With The Fairies to certain waterfalls and then also to a big yellowwood tree. They say it's almost as big as the one on the garden route. 
So I'm looking forward to that. I've been on that trail before, but uh, not extensively. So I'm looking forward to that, just chilling and walking and experiencing this beautiful place. I had such a good sleep, man. And the, the campsite's got power PowerPoints and you basically in the forest. So I would highly recommend camping here. behind me is uh, uh, ironwood, Olea capensis. I'm reading this, I'm not too smart on trees, but it's the dominant canopy tree species of this forest complex. Individual trees may sometimes reach 30 meters in height, with a diameter of over one meter. That's big. And in this forest, there's loads of uh, Nisna taracos, beautiful, stunning bird. Very difficult to film because they like uh, jumping in between branches. They don't like uh, being in the open, but uh, when they fly, they've got red underwings. It's a beautiful, beautiful, stunning bird, especially when the, um, the light hits the, the wings. Stunning. I'm the only one in this forest at the moment. It's very special. About 45 minutes from the big tree. Let's go. That is a knobwood tree with those little spikes coming out of it. And on this side, you'll see there's lots of lichen, which means this forest is in a very, very healthy state. Lots of lichen, lots of mushrooms, lots of things growing out of the trees, and it's all indigenous. Beautiful. That's going to ruin your day. Beautiful spider. The Eastern Cape Monarch. This is a common yellowwood tree. Girth. 8.5 meters, height 38 meters. They say it's approximately 800 years old, but I, when I was here, it was about five, six years ago, let's say five years. So she is 805 years old. And I'm gonna dub today as a birthday. So happy birthday, Cape Monarch. You are spectacular. It's just beautiful seeing such a magnificent big tree. Imagine all the things this tree has seen through its life. Absolutely breathtaking. Swallowtail waterfall, but it's been a bit of a climb. Um, super out of breath, but the stream is running along the trail, 
And look at that. Do this trail, try and not do it alone, firstly. Secondly, um, get some very good hiking shoes. I've bailed a few times, um, unfortunately not caught on camera. But um, it's quite an intense, intense little walk here. Rocks, lots of mud, so you slip. So just be careful. Um, I know the guys from away from the ferries, away with the ferries, uh, they actually take you on a guided tour. So I would suggest that. I didn't know it's gonna be so uh, off-road like. My low range has been on the entire time. <laughs> Traction control, non-existent. That uh, hiking trail was quite something. Uh, like I mentioned before, I bailed a few times. I've got the right shoes and everything, but um, it's just muddy, slippery, and uh, it's quite a walk. So if you do take it on, uh, take it easy. Every now and then rest, and I did. <laughs> I think uh, I've added about an hour to the hiking time just by um, taking rests. Ugh. It's a mess, everything's a mess. My gear, because I keep falling. Ugh, come on, shoe. I keep falling um, with all the gear in my hand because I don't want the gear to get hurt. My ribs, <laughs> That's, it's, gonna, it's gonna hurt tomorrow, but it's always worth it. This place is so, so special. Yes, look at that. Messy, 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 messy. I'm gonna have to clean my shoes tomorrow. But now, I'm gonna reward myself with a double brandy and coke. Because uh, I did all that effort to get all that beautiful footage. And, uh, just relax for the night. I think I'm gonna camp here one more night at the way with the ferries and then explore Hogsback a bit further. Phew. I'm unfit. On tonight's menu, we've got some lamb chops, some salad and uh, garlic bread which I think I've already burnt. But anyways, um, I think it's my last night yet away with the ferries and I'm gonna be exploring Hogsback a bit further because with uh, these programs, you need to show people formal accommodation as well. So I've been camping for two nights and tomorrow I'm gonna be trying some formal accommodation and then thereafter I might be camping again. But uh, the temperature has dipped, it's quite cold, and looking forward to a nice, good sleep.
Good morning. It's quite a chilly morning here in Hogsback. Um, I know I'm short sleeved, but the sun is busy coming out and I'm tired of wearing jackets. So I met a friend in the campsite called uh, Stephen Thompson. He's from America. He drives an 80 series Land Cruiser and he asked me if I want to go do some 4 x 4 ing So the answer is obvious, yes. The thing I'm a little bit worried about is that uh, we're going to be driving mud. And if you know 4 x 4 ing and mud, even with adventure bikes, there is 20 pages on how to drive sand and there is one page on mud. And that normally says avoid. So I think we're in for a, quite a messy day. Uh, this year is the Ironman Dual Deflator. What it does is it takes two tires, it equalizes the pressure, so you can deflate uh, simultaneously or you can inflate uh, simultaneously. So I'm going to go drop down to about two bar um, for this ride and maybe even deflate more as we go along. From the edge of the dam, you yeah. then go, let, let me draw it in, yeah. all the way up around here. Now, I would do this, because you get to the dam, there's some steps coming down. You can go underneath the dam, and there's a little kind of drainage hole at the top, and you can walk under the dam to that drainage hole, okay. and then come back up again, cool. drive along here, and there's a road which runs next to the dam, which is proper, proper, proper. Okay. Going to go across here, you're going to be going sideways, you're going to cross the river, and then you can keep going up here. And it just follows this yeah. drainage system. It follows, it follows the stream, yeah. Yeah, okay. So you can then go along here, um, this section. A land cruiser in its natural habitat. <laughs> yeah, the gas station. Yeah. <laughs> Hogsback is littered with beautiful scenic roads around it. Make sure you convoy or have a decent map not to get lost. I'm a rolling stone, bound to roam. Come the morning, or I'll be gone. So we've hit a bit of a rocky section. So the Land Cruiser is up first. A breeze. That thing's a donkey. We're stuck in mud. We're stuck in mud. Yeah. And I'm going to recover the cruiser because the cruiser was brave enough to try and cross this. But unfortunately, mud, it takes it out of you. Yep. <laughs> Recovery take one. <laughs> Mud, 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 mud. Whoa, whoa. Okay, he's proper stuck in the mud. He slided off, tried to recover him. There's a big rock behind him, but now we're going to try and let him come over the grass. It feels like 
uh, hard mud, so it shouldn't be a problem. We hope. So let's see what happens. Whoa, whoa. Oh, 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 nice. After getting unstuck, we found some beautiful views in the Hogsback Mountains. We climbed a hill that wasn't really a road, but the scenery was mind-blowing. After heading down into the forestry road, we got a beautiful view of the Kettle Sprout Waterfall, one of many in the area. Good morning. Um, I thought I'd show you the accommodation I stayed in last night. I'm not 100% because um, Mr. Stephen Thompson that did some 4 x 4 with me yesterday with the 80 series Land Cruiser fed me what seemed to be moonshine. So I'm not 100% but I mean look at this place. So let me just get that flare out of the way. There we go. This is the Hogsback Inn. What a lovely place. And it was quite affordable. Um, the food is great, the people are great, and I had a fantastic stay here. So if you're in Hogsback and you're looking for formal accommodation, come check them out. They're very, very cool. Um, I'm on my way to the next stop, which is my favorite part of Hogsback, the Arboretum. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly, I hope so. But yeah, this is was a welcome uh, little gem of a place. Hogs back in. Too many days is yet to come. Too many times has come to pass. Too many moments put aside Getting out alive Getting out alive Writing letters in the sand Lost to ocean's gentle hand Through the sunrise I will thrive
This is probably my favorite place in the whole of Hogsback. If you do visit, come and walk through here. There's trails going to waterfalls, to big trees, and just streams going along this massive garden, which it is essentially a massive garden. And then interestingly, you get Cape parrots here. So the Cape parrots are an endangered species. Uh, they're endemic to South Africa, and they feed off yellow wood tree seeds. So obviously yellow wood, as they become more scarce, habitat loss, forestry, the, the birds are obviously in a bit of trouble on that front. But I mean, there are amazing projects to try and conserve them. And I saw a bunch flying over at the way with the ferry. So keep your eyes to the sky and listen out for the Cape parrots because it's a very special bird to see. Um, this place is truly remarkable. I feel so relaxed and it's just a wonderful place to be at. And uh, if you do visit, you have to come through here. Just take a walk, take two, three hours and just relax, look up, check the streams, the trees, and look at the finer details because it's such a healthy ecosystem. Check on the trees that there's lichen, butterflies everywhere. This place is magical. It really is. The darkness of the light. 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 That is a Californian redwood. There are a couple of them here. They planted them about just over a hundred years ago. And this tree is massive, obviously from America, but there's a famous lyric by a band called Folk of Plisikar, which goes, Ek is net a tourist in my geboorteland, which means this tree is just a tourist in its birthland. It is spectacular to see how big these trees are. I think the ones in America are much bigger than these ones, but. It is massive. If you do come around here, come check out the redwoods. It is insane. You have to see it with your own eyes. 51 meters high. I just measured it by climbing it. I'm lying. Good morning, it's another beautiful day in Hogsback and my friend Stephen Thompson with the 80 series Land Cruiser we got talking, we were sitting in a bar in the Hogsback Inn and then we got talking with the owner of the Hogsback Inn called Mark he said to us we need to go to his farm and there's a pass and a, a mountain which is the highest part in the Hogsback area so we said a resounding yes so that's one of the things I always do is um, if you want to get to know a town just pop into a bar and uh, ask people what is the coolest things to do around the area. So I'm very excited to, to go onto Mark's farm and the Mark's Pass. I keep forgetting that you get out of the left-hand side. 
It is beautiful and this uh, road going up this mountain is a proper 4x4 route. So low range engaged and uh, Stephen in front here with his, with his cruiser is also having a blast. That's the magical thing about places like, like Hogsback. You step into a bar or just even a restaurant and you have a drink with someone and you start talking and they invite you to their farm to go experience one of the most magical places. It's epic, thank you Mark, really appreciate it. This is awesome. Not bad, eh? Are you having fun, kind sir? <laughs> this might be one of my best days of driving ever. About six o'clock on the R345, the road going into Hogsback. And I barely scratched the surface of this little town. Inside and outside, there are so many things to do. And I only did a few of them. So it means that I'm gonna come back. This is only part one. I just wanna say a massive shout out to Dan from Away With The Fairies. Also wanna give a massive thank you to Mark Anderson from Hogsback Inn uh, for letting us explore his farm and his 4x4 routes. And also a massive thank you to Stephen Thompson, my new friend that went on all the crazy adventures with me in my small or little time in Hogsback. Hogsback is such a beautiful place. I think it might be my favorite town. Very, very close. Um, if you do like the videos, please like and subscribe. Push the notification bell and uh, you'll get a notification once these videos get uploaded. So this is not the end for Hogsback. I'm definitely gonna be back. Thank you so much for watching.